Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. We thank him again, brothers and sisters, again for the opportunity to minister in this time. Thank him again for the Sabbath day, a day of rest, a day of peace, a day that God has blessed and sanctified and ordained from the beginning of the creation. The seventh day. That's what I often said. What? Talk to these people out here in these religious systems, these so-called churches. Ask them about the Sabbath day. What, what happened? Why, and you know what's really remarkable? They preached or read Moses on the Sabbath, every Sabbath day. Jesus went into the synagogues on the Sabbath day and read from Isaiah to one time. But as you see, Paul was followed the same pattern as the apostles by ministering on the Sabbath. Not Sunday. Sunday was a day that the Catholic Church actually originated and came up with hundreds of years ago. And what do you think all the what called Protestant, so-called Protestant churches, Protestant churches? There's nothing protested about the Church of Jesus Christ. It's the real Church of Jesus Christ that he said, "He, I will build my church, not these organized religions out here that call themselves a." St. Paul the Baptist or St. John the Baptist or whatever you want to call them. They're of their father the devil. Period. Thank God that we could come out from among them and be separate and touch not the unclean thing. And then while I be your God, God tells us, and we will be his people. Thank you, Father. We just bless him again. Thank you for his goodness and mercy. As uh what was I going to, I was going to look at the, uh, uh, see right here, if I can find it, the, uh, okay, it's right there, that's the way God ordained it, and the thing is, is that uh, we're not in no hurry, because God put on my heart to do this, so I'm going to do it, and then we're going to uh, get into this message about a cage of every unclean and hateful bird, because that's what this nation is, the United States of America. But let's listen to this beautiful, the words, very sober, very meaningful, and also the song that should touch every one of our hearts out here in Jesus name Father it's my prayer that each of us will not shirk his responsibility to put on the whole armor of God and take up that sword of the spirit the word of God and the shield of faith yes Lord both of which you have again and again revealed to this church is necessary to endure to the end. Now, I'm going to tell you what. These people out here said this guy was a cult leader and false this or that. They're a bunch of liars. The man believed in divine healing. And he believed that if God didn't heal you, then God didn't heal you. Period. But these words here, listen to the words of this man that you already heard and then hear the song, and then hear the words at the end of the song, and tell me that he was a cult leader or a false prophet or whatever. You're a bunch of liars. And having done all, with the shield and the sword, we yes. will be able to stand Thank you, Father. what is yet to come. That's the truth, Lord. May no one, Father, treat it lightly, but right. by your Spirit, that it is a solemn, serious time to get our houses in order, get our faith conditioned to where it should be, hand but our heart, the Word of God. Wow. What a beautiful inspiration from God from many years ago by this brother, Brother Hobart Freeman is my prayer in Jesus' name. Yes, Amen.
Amen. Friends, I trust you'll not treat Jeremiah's studies lightly, but that you'll go back through and listen to those tapes. Wow. Isn't that what I just had on there on my previous message, Jeremiah chapter 5, where the first place that the word cage was found? Wow. Don't treat them lightly. Get it down in your heart That's because it. it's as contemporary Thank you, Father. as when Jeremiah spoke it. That's right. Even today. Amen. 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 Would you stand with us, Isn't please? Isn't that remarkable? I didn't even know that. One. I, I do it. I mean, I didn't even know that was Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Everything you do is perfect. This is our prayer, and we dismiss ourselves with this as our confession. It's our desire and will to know and do your will, Absolutely. and to obey you. Yes. That in that day that is so soon, that you will not be ashamed to say that you are our God and we are your people. Bless us to this end, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 What a blessing. Thank you, Father. Bless us to this end, that you will not be ashamed in this time we're coming to, Lord, that we are your people and you are our God. Thank you, Father. Just like it says in the Scripture, it talks about when he shall appear, we shall not be ashamed before him at his coming. We thank God again for the power of the Holy Spirit and the power of God's Word. And he upholds all things by the power of the Spirit of His Word that He has. Thank you, Father. Now let's uh, go to. Never now. He's to, Hobart Freeman talking about Jeremiah. Don't treat him lightly. It's just as. Important today it was as it was when Jeremiah spoke it. It's like I talked about the harvest. And he observes on us the appointed weeks of the harvest, which is the end of the world. There's only one harvest. That's the end of the world. The end of the world is the harvest. And then it goes on. It's just as, as contemporary, just as, as sobering as when Jeremiah spoke this thing. How many years ago was that when Jeremiah spoke this? For among, this is God talk, for among my people are found wicked men. I went through the wicked men 
uh, the last day false witness, the greatest false witness of the coming of Jesus Christ that the radio world has ever heard as far as shortwave. R.G. Stare, Ralph Gordon Stare, and then you got James Rice marrying the whore, Rose Larrabee that brought Ralph to a piece of bread, and then you got Dennis Larrabee, and this is the list goes on. How about Charlie Dow, Pastor Charlie Dow up in Tennessee? Talk about a wicked man? He's not living a holy life, led by the Spirit of God. How about Hulk Hogan or Kanye West or, uh, well, let's get it on with this. Hey, look at Jeremiah now, what Hobart Freeman talked about. A cage is full of birds and so are their houses full of deceit. If a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. And that's why I mentioned the house of the overcomer has been filled with deceit for quite a few years. And that ain't the only one. That's just a small example. A small example of the millions and billions of people that God has given them a strong delusion to believe a lie in this hour we live in. Let's get to Revelation 18 because I want to get to the uh, some things that are going on again. In the, and it describes it here in Revelation 18, the United States of America. In verse 2, he cried this strong angel, saying, Babylon the great has fallen and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every false spirit. You tell me the United States is not being transformed by these kind of spirits in the hour we live in? It hasn't quite come to the full yet, but... It will be, not too long in the near distant future. And it's going to become a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Maybe, you know what I mean, a cage? It means you put something in it, it doesn't get out. Unless the person that puts the cage or makes the cage lets the thing out of the cage. It's a cage is the, and like, like they take birds, they stick them in a bird cage. Huh? How about a prison cell? That's a cage. In a cage of every unclean and hateful bird, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich to an abundance of her delicacies. And what I, I, I had the other day, I showed you all the merchants of the earth that are, why are they paying people $40, $50, 100000000 million a year to endorse tennis shoes, T-shirts, jackets, Helmets, hats, or whatever. They get these athletes to endorse these products so they could, merchants of the earth can make money and merchandise of them. And this talks about in Revelation 18. I didn't have it on the scripture, but the souls of men. Let's get to uh, the cage. All right. Let's get to cage of every unclean and hateful bird as we see it progressing and promoted through the satanic mind and media of Satan himself. Look at this here. This is a headline now. Pratt Brothers sing national anthem at anti-Israeli agitators as cops crack down on encampment. I mean, come on now. You got these people doing what they're doing in these colleges. I remember, you know, I remember back in the 60s when the Black Panthers tried this kind of nonsense. Boy, they, they, they didn't get away with too much at all. A lot of them got locked up in prison. But today, they, this is underneath Mr. Joe Biden, one of the most perverted men that there ever was on the face of the earth as far as an authority. But remember now, the powers that be are ordained of God. And God ordains People like Joe Biden, Benjamin Netanyahu, Vladimir, uh, or, uh, Vladimir Putin, and uh, Mr. Zelensky over there in Ukraine, or Mr. Trudeau up in Canada, all these leaders, they're, 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 or Mr. Macron in France, and uh, all the other leaders of the world, nations of the world, all these kingdoms are soon to become the kingdoms of Satan. But look at this here. Uh, the heart of the matter, as they're talking about Trump's 
immunity in prosecution and uh, also uh, I, I just had it on here it disappeared it's amazing how that disappeared where Joe Biden was uh, I wonder why they took it off of there isn't that very strange let's see if we can punch that up again on here yeah, they took it off. Joe Biden met with Howard Stern, one of the most perverted, foul-mouthed people that ever had a radio broadcast. Foul language, perverted spirit. He's been doing that for years. But Joe Biden gave him an interview. Hey, birds of a feather, feather, as they say, flock together. Joe Biden, in fact, he was lying about some things on there that even CNN and all these so-called satanic media outlets took issue with Mr. Biden. But remember now, Mr. Biden has been given a strong delusion to believe lies. He's a liar. That's all he does is lie. And then people just, why not? Because the whole world lies in wickedness. But let's look at some of this media stuff here. This is important news now. Joe Alt's girlfriend. Reaction in NFL draft. As the internet talking, cracking jokes. Uh, see what I'm talking about? They, they got the, the sports takes over. Uh, NFL team told to pay for their own stadium. Taking billions from taxpayers' money. And then, you, if, and then that's, uh, I believe that, I'm, I'm not sure where that was, Chicago. Let's see where that is. Yep, Chicago Bears. Then you got social media disturbed by Noam's story about shooting 14-month-old dog. I mean, here's the, this is news now. Well, like I'm telling you, it's a satanic mind manipulation and distortion and distraction to destroy your minds. Look at this here, Ramstar pushing for more guaranteed money as part of contract. These guys don't work a day in their life. They play games. They play games with balls, football, basketball, baseball. How about soccer? They kick a ball around. And call, they call that football in Europe, but it's called soccer. Then you got Harvey Weinstein with his sexual perversion being uh, in the forefront of news. Then you got vacation time. Remember now, a cage of every unclean and hateful bird, but a, a foul spirit. Let's look at that scripture again. It's become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. The hold of every foul spirit. That's what you're seeing here on the media. Foul spirit. So Prentel Star says many in Hollywood are secretly against Biden's social agenda. Hollywood. Wow. Former NFL player. See, here we are, sports. This is headlines now. Fox News. Supposed to be conservative. No, they're just as much a satanic media as all the other ones. Doesn't matter. All I look for is certain events that happen that are that are biblical and happen according to the word of God. All these things you see here are uh, Chris, uh, Colts Chris Bauer rips critical reports around draft pick and expletive rant. Uh, okay, here we are. More sports headlines now. Fox News. It's all amazing. Oh, here it is here. Here's, they, 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 this was the headlines here. Biden mocked after rare live interview goes into civil rights claim salacious photos. Now, the thing is, that was the headline here about oh, maybe an hour ago. Now it's knocked down the list a little bit because they, they had other people singing the national anthem at the anti-Israeli uh, takeover of some of these colleges. But Biden, why wouldn't he have an interview with a foul-mouthed devil like Mr. Howard Stern? Because they're both the same. They got, they're of the same spirit, period. But that's the kind of perversion that the world, the, the politics, the, the entertainment, it's um, just like the scripture said, 
is the habitation of devils and a hold of every foul spirit. You tell me that uh, Mr. Howard Stern and Joe Biden don't have a foul spirit? In a cage of every unclean and hateful bird, talk to them about truth and see what kind of answers come out of them people's mouths. You see, because judgment is not executed speedily. Therefore, it's fully set in the heart of the sons of men to do evil. Talk evil, speak evil, think evil. Because God, for some, somehow they think that he, there, there is no God. That he's just letting them do what they're doing because that, that's just the way it is. When in the end, they're going to stand at the white throne judgment. Period. Every man. It's appointed on a man wants to die and then the judgment. Either you're going to be judged at the seat of Christ or at the throne of judgment in the end after the thousand years. Okay, here's another one. New York versus Trump's first witness makes revelation about Tiger Woods' sex scandal. Then you got Trump talking about RFK Jr. And, uh, uh, okay, we got, oh, college, college, uh, frat guys show how to properly deal with pro Hamas nonsense, anti Semitism exposed. And then you got this singer, Zach Brown, and, 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 I mean, it just, it, it's just the perversion of this generation. Like I said, I, I, I'll scan through the news like I do just to see what's going on by the Word of God. See what's going on over in the Middle East. See what's going on with China, Russia, the United States, and the book of Revelation. Because don't leave out the book of Revelation where it talks about masses of people being killed at a certain point in time. And it's going to happen. It's like the fourth horse. A sword was given him to kill. To kill with the sword and with death and with famine and the beast of the earth. I mean, there's, I, 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 Lord put on my heart to actually focus on those places where he already spoke of what's going to actually transpire in the very near future where billions of people are going to die very rapidly. And then we'll get to a place in the book of Revelation where it says men will seek death and death shall flee away. See, God is the only one that has power over life and death. Mankind thinks they got power over life and death, but it's God that allows people to kill one another. It's a God that keeps people from killing one another. Just like I mentioned before about the spirit of suicide, that's of the devil. That's a satanic spirit, period. Everybody that I, I mean, basically probably everybody on the face of the earth has been tempted by the spirit of killing themselves. Why not? Satan comes to kill, to rob, and destroy him. Why wouldn't he put that kind of temptation to people? Hey, things ain't going the way they should. Hey, I remember when I was, before I had the born again experience, how I felt many times I just wanted to kill myself because things just weren't going the way I thought they should be. But then God had me born again by the Spirit around the time of March the 27th, 1993. And ever since then, the only thing I would say to God is just like Elijah. He said, take my life, Lord. Take my life. It's enough. I mean, basically, and, and any, any true Christian, when you get weary of this world and tired of it, you'll ask God, come on, Lord, take me out of here. Because it, it, it's all vanity. In that sense, it's vanity. When God puts things together, like I mentioned about our garden and the land we live on, that's not vanity. But when you begin to trust in yourself outside of God, then he'll bring a little tribulation here or there to make you say, Lord, it is enough. Get me out of here. And then he'll deliver you from that and show you that godliness is profitable for this present life we live and the one to come. And if we live godly, he will deliver the godly out of temptation. And it's like James said, blessed is the man who endures temptation. If when he has tried, he shall receive the crown of life. That the Lord is going to give to them 
and love him and obey him. Just like we started out this message with obey my voice. We all need to obey the voice of God. Period. And that's given to us through his spirit and by his word. He'll use his word. We're reading it, hearing it. He'll use his word to administer instructions in righteousness that we may be truly furnished perfect unto all good works. So may God bless the word of your heart. May he keep you in this hour of perversion and seduction and sorcery from the media because it, it, the media is so perverted and corrupt. It's just amazing. I mean, I can't even, like, it's getting less and less now for me as far as that goes. I could look at the media for maybe 20 seconds. That's it. And I, I could see well, I could see where things are and where they're going. The lies put out, the way they put out hateful and unclean thoughts. Oh, this person said that, 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 that. To get you to feel ill or have malice because of what they're putting out about this person or that person. Trump said this, Biden said that. that, that. It's just a bunch of, it, it's all controlled by Satan. That's the whole key. You see, Satan is going to have full control over the whole world for three and a half years or 42 months, just like it said in Revelation and Apostle Paul talked about in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. So you better be grounded, firm and deep in the Savior's love and in his word in this hour we live in. In Jesus' name is my prayer. Till we meet again. Amen. Amen.